Hey planner friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. It's Friday, so that means that it is time for Friday Night Lights. I have a total of five hauls here today. I'm also going to show you some new um, Studio Blisco things and maybe sneak a thing or two. Um, so that'll make six hauls. So let's start with Rose Colored Days placed a small order um, of more stickies, the transparent stickies, because I love them. And I used Jerrica's code, so I got this little freebie sheet, and um, it's like a teal color. And let's see, what did I get? So I got five of the two by two stickies got the um neon blue lemon clear frost neon pink and neon orange i like this two by two size because it's not too small um and it's great for like a little short list like i've i've even put a grocery list on here um, but when I'm just like grabbing a few things or like if I'm going to a couple of places, like remembering what I'm going to do specifically, because believe it or not, I'll get to the store and completely forget. So, um, these are just a really good size and I, they have a nice little stickiness to them. So, um, I have enjoyed using them. So I'll grab a few more in some different colors. And that was what I got from Rose Color Days. I also got this um, calendar card for July gold foil and this was another freebie that was included which is like um, actually this is Jerrica's freebie um, so in like a shattered glass um, which is really pretty and then this was just a freebie the teal so that's rose colored days love her shop that's our first haul Next haul is from Rose Gold Paper Co. So I have never ordered from this company. Um, so this is a new to me shop, Rose Gold Paper Co. And I saw the items that I ordered on somebody else's stories and I was like, ooh. Um, so, I don't, um, it didn't come with like a card or anything. Let me see if I can show you the, it's, the website is rosegoldpaperco.com and there is the shop info, rosegoldpaperco.com. So, this is an all foil order, um, which now I, I, I went from being the not foil person to loving foil. So she has um, all these different mandalas and sunflower mandalas and um, just all the pretty colors. So this is, of course, Silver Hollow. And um, some of them I got the same mandala, but uh, different colors. So that's gold. And then this is a date cover mandala. This one's rose gold. Aren't those pretty? Um, got some sunflowers. And I did, I just, I think just gold for the sunflowers. Um, they're all on clear paper. And I thought the gold looked closest to like yellow when you're looking at a sunflower spread. So I thought that would be pretty. Then this is mandalas in gold, mandalas in silver, and rose gold, and hollow. I think that was the one where I did all four colors. Then some more date covers. So this one's silver hollow. 
This one is rose gold, regular gold date cover, and silver, just plain old silver, no hollow. So I thought those were super pretty, um, and they were like a $2 Tuesday, so couldn't beat that. And got some new pretties for my, my foil collection. So I have to do it like a foil spread. So that's Rose Gold Paper Co. All right. Next, did an order from Crafts by Polly, which this got to me pretty quick. She's got this wrapped up in a has Nia on it. It's super cute. Um, she is in Singapore, so it usually takes a little bit longer. Um, let me see. I'll tell you when I ordered. Um, and I want to say I got this last Saturday, which was the 9th. Um, because I would have included it in my Friday Night Lights last week. Um, but it came the day after. This was ordered 6.28, so I mean... There's shops in the U.S. that don't be shipping that quick. Um, so that's basically like two weeks. So she's got... Um, I think she, it, this was a collab sale that I ordered from. Um, I, don't, I don't know which collab sale it was. It wasn't one that I was participating in. But she did some... Um, swap freebies so she exchanged with some other shops this is the prairie planner little friendly designs these are clear um not sure what shop this is maybe la petite paula um katie makes stickers moon petal and planning in blue jeans. So, got freebies. And then I ordered some um, things from my PP Weeks. So, here are the little freebies from Crafts by Polly. That was a little freebie sheet. Beach Babe cute and sunshine on my mind and that postcard freebies all right and here's what i ordered so i ordered a monthly for august and i don't think i was gonna say i don't think i have one for july but i ordered one for july so there's august thought that was cute very summery for July. And the cool thing is you can pick what month you want to put on there. So I chose the month. And she also does um, you pick your skin tone. So did that as well. And this one for December. And then I think this is technically a B6 kit. But I'm pretty sure if I recall correctly it fits in the... PP Weeks, and I thought this was super cute. It's like this whole staycation, stay at home type theme. So I liked this doll. I thought that was cute. So um, grab that as well. Not a super big order, but that is what I got from Crafts by Polly. If you want to check out her shop, she's got a lot of things for B6. PP Weeks and I think Hobonichi. There is the info. She's both, um, I think, on Shopify and Etsy, if I recall correctly. So that is my Craft Spot Polly order. All right. Let me show you um, a couple of Studio Blisco things. So I had a sneaked in the Facebook group that I'm working on the fall planner sesh box. So we have a luxe black box and we've got some um, silver 
marble for the cover. The um, theme for the fall box is cozy season. And I just thought this was really pretty and I was able to get these black boxes. And so that is what we are rolling with. It just fits the whole aesthetic of what I'm going for with the black box for um, fall. So you will not want to miss the fall Bliss Squad Planner Sesh box. We're probably looking at early September. I don't have an exact date for you yet, but we're probably looking at early September. I've gotten a really good head start on this box, and so um, things are starting to come in every day. I'm pretty excited about that because I usually feel like I am, like, scrambling. Um, so that is... A uh, little sneak for you for the Bliss Squad Planner Sesh box for fall. There are still a couple of boxes left. If you're interested in the summer box, you still have a chance to grab a few things. Other thing I'm working on for Studio Bliss Co. Not up yet, but I am just really, um, I'm going to say hopeful that I may have this figured out before the weekend is over and be able to list some printables in the Studio Bliss Co. shop. So one printable I'm working on is a calendar and it'll have like different dolls. Um, what I have done is a, a Monday start, but I may offer it both with a Monday and a Sunday start and send the, so then like people can pick whatever makes them happy and you know it'll be some like different dolls on there so feedback do you prefer Monday start or Sunday start do you not care would you like both um I feel like I need something else on here maybe I'm gonna maybe I'll put the year but then I feel like you can't use it forever so there's that so maybe not um how do you feel about the doll encroaching on the calendar? I could make her smaller, but I just feel like that's what sets it off. Um, I'll probably do with a couple of, you know, of different dolls. Of course, we're in summer and that's, this is the doll I'm like using right now to do my design. So that may not necessarily be what ends up being on there. So there's that. So there's the calendar. I'm working on a, a to-do list, a weekly checklist, and then I printed out this one as well. It's like a daily planner. I think I changed this to say the daily plan. You have top priorities, um, a space for the day of the week, and it didn't really show up in the printing, but I've made it gray and a little bit, bit um, darker, and then the notes has a gray box as well. It's a little bit darker. Um, place for your to-do list and then again like a doll down here in the corner so these are printable I'm trying to figure out how to do it in different sizes so you know this is the full page um, I'm gonna see if I can make it like an A5 size as well um, but I'm pretty sure you could on your printer um, like shrink it as well um, so we'll see. I'm working on it. I like to get y'all good stuff. So um, I'll put it up once I know it's good. Um, let's see. I have a few other Studio Bliss Co. things to show you. But before I do, let's go into our cloth and paper order. So cloth and paper released another cloth and paper clip duo. One is matte. One is glossy. Um, let's see, it's 0.93 by 4.25 inches and similar to an Ollie clip, but not an Ollie clip. It's a cloth and paper clip. So grab that in the quartz and then, um, this was a happy hour order. So I grabbed a few other things as well. Got some journaling cards, mindset journaling card, and, um, there is luxury and simplicity, the Lux journaling card. All right, let's see. I ordered a couple of matchstick page flags. So I ordered palette one, and um, these were that I did not have and palette five 
And I actually use these um, to track cases on my Kanban board that I use for work. So it's perfect to get some extras. This one on top is like a really dark, it looks like maybe navy or black. Um, so I probably won't be able to use that one because I have to use a white pen on it and that's just a headache. But um, they work great for that purpose. So that's primarily what I use them for. If you bought two sets of the page flags you got a free clear ruler journaling card and I got an extra one because I like this card. It's perfect for cutting washi um, and um, you know for a ruler or whatnot and so I really like it. It makes, it, it makes a really good bookmark too. So I got an extra. It's nothing fancy. It's just a cute little ruler. So, um, and then I have the ability to put it in various planners. And then I got a set of goal sticky notes as well. Um, so that is, I think I'm going to start using this like for a daily goal slash accomplishment. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe trying to do two, two things that I want to make sure I get done every day, like the two most important things. So I may use that for that. All right. So that's cloth and paper. Let me show you what else I have for Studio Bliss Co. So I'm working on these little budget binders. Let me know if this is something that you're interested in. They have on the front, I do the most, but on a budget, this is a hollow binder. Um, this, these were also included in the first planner sesh box, um, A7 slash pocket sized and, um, silver rings, not super wide rings. They're probably like 19 millimeter rings. And the budget binder will include five envelopes. You choose, um, your category and vinyl matching vinyl uh same font will go on there this one's an oops because i messed up the little b down here but um matching font will go on here with the categories and then you'll get like maybe 10 of these expense trackers so double the amount and um i'm gonna see if i can make this like printable as well um but they're size to fit in here and you have your whole little cash envelope set up. And I'm currently using a pocket size for my cash envelope. I don't have it here with me. Um, mine is a mo term that I'm using, but same concept lot uh, less expensive than a Moterm, but I think this is a great option. And I do have, I have one that I purchased somewhere else. So to give you an idea of what it would look like, um, I also have clear and I have um, charcoal gray. So, you know, if you have your envelopes and they match the cover. So that, this is not, these are not the envelopes, but these are the envelopes. So to give you an idea, I don't have this um, hollow foil though, which is kind of really pretty, which is probably why I picked it. But anyways, um, <laughs> so that is the little budget book. So that is coming to Studio Bliss Co. And um, I am working on a sticker book. I showed this in yesterday's plan with me video, which was the life planner plan with me video. I'll link it down below. It was assembled when I showed it there. I have unassembled it because I want to do a different coil on here. Um, but this is a floral sticker book. It's 25 pages. Um, I'm not going to make a lot of them because they're kind of labor intensive. But um, it has two never seen before florals along with um, three best selling florals and um, not seen before in the shop. You also are getting a sheet 
you're getting several sheets, but you're also getting clear sticker paper um, for several of your sheets as well, which is new for um, us as well. And so um, I picked the, the two new plus the three um, best-selling florals. Florals are very popular in our shop. So let me show you real quick what this looks like. So you have the cover, which is a hard cover, and it's going to flip like this. Um, it'll be coiled together, of course. And there's the back. And so you know, flip up, and then here is the, um, each, you'll get a large, large deco, small deco for each collection. Um, in premium matte paper and in clear sticker paper and then you'll get a set of boxes in premium matte paper so each collection has five sheets um, two sheets are clear so this is the teal fantasy which has not been released in the shop so it's exclusive to the sticker book right now and then this is the clear sticker paper and um, small deco clear sticker paper and then here are your boxes you've got four large boxes two half boxes and five quarter boxes and then you have the new amethyst so you have the large in the premium sticker paper and in the clear small and clear and your boxes um, these sheets are also bigger than our normal sticker sheets. This is a four by six sticker book. So you are getting more stickers on the sheet as well. This is the Autumn Romance collection. So matte, uh, premium matte, clear, premium matte, clear, and your boxes. And then our sunflowers, large deco. There's the clear, small deco, there's the clear, and boxes, and then the burgundy orange crush, and so you've got your premium matte, clear, premium matte, clear, and your boxes. So that is the Studio Bliss Co. floral sticker book. And of course your version will come assembled and ready to go. So 25 sheets, four by six larger sized sheets, five floral collections. No um, washi or floral drops just because it's not, it won't fit in here. Um, so, but you can still get those a la carte. Um, okay, and then I'm working on a doll sticker book. So right now I have six sheets and I'm trying to figure out do what I want to do. <laughs> because I feel like th this is kind of expensive to make this. And it would be expensive to make this a hardcover for six sheets. So um, this is a work in progress still. Um, but I, I don't know if I want to do more than one doll sticker book. But... I don't know. So we're, we're working on it anyway, in any case, um, right now I have six sheets. Um, I think it's 65 stickers so far and, um, it's like our most popular dolls. And so, and some of these are like really new, but they are very popular already. And so, um, I might do like something different for fall. This might be like the summer version. I don't know, but, um, And some of these, like these two, and these two are exclusive to the planner sesh box. So this would be a great way to snag those because they have not been released at this time. Um, so that's our, our this, this, I'm working on a whole bunch of stuff for y'all. So that's this little sticker book thing that's coming. And in a, in a perfect world, I'll be done with all this stuff before Sunday. Okay, so that's what this is what I'm gonna be doing this weekend. Plus, I'm doing a, a sticker class because I always feel like I can improve my skills and learn something new. So that is what you will see from 
me in the near future. So last but not least, we have an order from Sticker Guru. I love this envelope that it comes in. It's like this really pretty blush pink color with like a rose gold foil and then they put it inside like a clear envelope so it's protected. And there's the back. It's got like a little scallop and it says Sticker Guru. And I ordered $2 Tuesday. That's such a cute little envelope. So, it's so cute that I'm going to keep it. So, for this order, and y'all know I feel some kind of way because it does not have a receipt. Um, <clears throat> but it was um, a sunflower $2 Tuesday. So, here I am again getting all the foiled stuff. And... A lot of this I did in, I think they did like a light gold foil because I just feel like sunflowers, light gold foil looks the most like yellow. And so I just feel like it matches, but I think these are super cute. So got like your little bouquets. Um, I did boxes and then that's in the gold as well. And then I did a hollow and then um, I did Brittany's freebie sheet and then so we did um, was it sunflowers oh it wasn't sunflowers it was daisies I, I was saying sunflowers but it's daisies which also I think are beautiful in yellow um or like white I love white daisies anyway um Petey says hi so these are the daisy petal deco and I did where was the silver yeah, silver, which I feel like is the as close to white as I'm gonna get. Um, mini daisy dividers. I think this is actually it looks silver, but it's gold. Okay, so this is the light gold. This is the gold gold. Um, let's see if you do it at an angle, you can you can see the gold. It looks silver straight on though, but it's gold. Um, Daisy Mandala. I think I did the mandala in every color. So this is hollow. This is the light gold. Um, Daisy Layered Garland. Gold and hollow. And rose gold. And silver. And light gold. Give me all the garland. Same thing with the regular garland, gold, hollow, rose gold, silver, light gold. Daisy dividers in hollow, and light gold. Daisy corners in gold, and in hollow, and in rose gold, and in silver, and in light gold. I went a little crazy. And then daisy clusters, and these are in hollow and light gold. So that is my sticker guru order. I don't have anywhere to put all these stickers, and I have another sticker guru order coming because they had like a whole ocean theme this weekend. I'm here for the ocean, and there were palm trees, so there's that. Y'all know I, I told you on my last video how I felt about palm trees. So <sighs> that's a lot for Friday Night Lights. It's been a minute since I've had a lot, so. Let me know what your favorite thing is and let me know what you are looking most forward to in new things coming from Studio Blissco. I would appreciate if you comment that info down below. You never know. I may pick someone and send you a prototype. So share, share, share. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.